Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is investigating symmetry. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. So our question is how do we determine whether a figure has line symmetry or rotational symmetry? So symmetry is when a figure maps itself onto itself. So line symmetry or reflection symmetry is when the symmetry is reflected over the line and it, and it looks like a mirror image right here. So, so for example, here, these, these uh, figures right here have line symmetry and this dotted line is our mirror. It's our line of symmetry where we can fold this half over on this half right here or we can fold the top half over on the bottom half or the left half over on the right half. So those would be called the lines of symmetry. Okay, we did that in the last lesson or two lessons ago. Um, so uh, we're going to draw the lines of symmetry, if there are any, on each figure and tell the total number of lines of symmetry each figure has. Okay, well, here I can draw a line right down there, and the top half would fold down on the bottom half. And I can also draw a line right here, and the left-hand side would fold on the right-hand side. What about if I drew a line right through the middle right there? Would this side go on this side? No, it wouldn't right there. It only happens when it's a square, like on this figure right here. So, so this guy has uh, two lines of symmetry, okay? This guy right here, there are no folding marks where one side folds on the other, so that one doesn't have any. How about this one right here? There is one if we go right up there and fold this half over on that one right there. And if we can think of this as a piece of paper and I folded it right there, can you see this half coming right down on that half right there? So there's one line of symmetry right here. Okay, this square has one, two, three in the diagonal. Can you see this half folding up on this half? And then same with this side. If we drew that one right there, this half would fold down on that half. So it looks like there's four lines of symmetry right there. Hey, what about this one right here, a circle? How many lines of symmetry does that have? Infinite. Circles have infinitely many lines of symmetry on that. Okay, so a figure has what's called rotational symmetry if a rotation maps a figure onto itself. So here, uh, here's a star right here. So the angle of rotation is the angle that is rotates the figure onto itself right there. Can you see if I turn this figure, this figure, this little point would slide right up there. Think of this like a pinwheel and I had like a, a nail through that and I spin it around. This figure would go right there. So how do you figure that out is all the way around is 360. So we take 360 and divide it by how many points there are, how many um, symmetrical points there are, which is five. So the angle of rotation is 360 divided by five, which is 72 degrees. So we can turn that in multiples of 72 degrees. So, so other angles of rotation, here's 72 times 2, 72 times 3, times 4, and then finally 72 times 5 takes us back to the original 360 degrees right there. So 360 degrees is also a rotation right there. So determine which figure has rotational symmetry and then identify the angles of rotation that's less than 360. Okay, I think I included 360 also, but so think of uh, wherever the center points are. So put that right there, and that's like our pinwheel right there. Well, this is symmetrical right here, so I can, do, there's four of them. So if we take 360 divided by four is 90. So 90 is a rotational one, and then 90 times two, 90 times three. It looks like I didn't include 360 right there. Okay, this one is symmetrical. This guy can spin right up on top. So 360 divided by two is a Oh, that one doesn't have any. Sorry. Uh, there are none there. This one's going to be 360 divided by 2, which is 180. That's the only way we can do that that's under 360, because 180 times 2 is 360. How about this one? This one is, so three, uh, there's three equal sides right there, so 360 divided by 3 is 120. So 120 times 2 is 240 right there. Okay, all right, so describe the symmetry of each figure. Draw the lines of symmetry and any angles of um, rotation. Okay, can you see any lines of symmetry right there? I can. If I, if I drew a line right down there, this side would fold over on this side. And if I drew another line right there, the top would fold down on the bottom right there. Can you see any other lines? What about right there and right there? So it looks like there's four lines of symmetry right there. And then the angle of rotation, you guys, is there's four equal parts. So 360 divided by four gets us 90 degrees as an angle of rotation, angle rotation symmetry. And then um, 180, and then 270. This is 90 times 2. This is 90 times 3. 9 times 3 is 27. 
Okay, how about this guy right here? Are there any lines of symmetry? Yeah, I think so. If we drew one right down there, this half would fold over there, and then one right down there, and then one right down there. There's three lines of symmetry, and then the angles of rotation, there's three equal pieces. So 360 divided by 3 is 120 degrees rotation and 240, and it would map right on top of itself right there. How about that guy right there? This one's kind of tricky, you guys. It looks like there's a line of symmetry going right down here, and there would be if we didn't have this little tail piece right there, and this one, and this one. See, if I drew a line right down there, there's no other piece over here that would map this over here. If I if I continued that right there and had that little piece up hanging up over there, then it would be line symmetry. But this little singleton little piece on each vertex right there means that there are no lines of symmetry. But the angle of rotation, you guys, they're all equal. If I rotated this up here and then it would just rotate it and rotate it, 360, there's five equal vertices right there. Gives us 72, 144, 216, and here's 72 times 4 right there, 288 right there. Okay, how can we determine uh, whether a figure has line symmetry or rotational symmetry? Well, line symmetry, you look at a line of reflection that can divide the figure into mere images of itself or mere image halves of itself right there. And then rotational symmetry, symmetry sorry, think of a figure that has, that's rotating around its, its centerpiece right there, and the figure has rotation rotational symmetry if a rotation of 180 degrees or less produces the original figure on top of itself. Okay, if you're in my class, I would assign that and take care.